Animals are used in research because their biology is similar to ours. Ferrets catch COVID and flu. Rats' lungs are so similar, we can test new asthma drugs on them. But the animal you're most likely to see in the lab is a mouse. Mice and humans are both mammals. We have the same organs. We share most of our genes. And mice can be genetically modified to be even more similar to humans. Mice can develop cancer and many other conditions, so we can test cancer treatments in mice before trying them out in people. The mice used in research are bred for research, they're not wild caught, and because so many mice are kept, their housing is standardised. The box-shaped cages are washed out and sterilised every few weeks, and mice are given litter, usually made from wood shavings, and something to chew and material to make into a nest. There's a limit to how many mice are kept in one cage, but mice are almost always kept with at least one other, as mice are sociable animals. Water and food is always available, and the air supply is filtered before it enters the cage from nozzles fitted on the caging racks. There are different types of mice used in research. Mice with deficient immune systems are particularly useful for cancer research, as cancerous material can be taken from a patient and placed under the skin of the mouse where it will grow. Medicines can then be tried out on the mouse before being used on the patient. People ask about cosmetic testing, but no animal has been used to test cosmetics in the UK for over 20 years. While mice and other research animals are vital parts of the research process, scientists have to get permission to use animals in research, and that permission is only granted when there's no other way to do the work. So scientists use tissue culture and computer modelling, as well as animal work, depending on what is most appropriate as they go through the process of seeking new medicines. You can read about specific examples of research through our social media and on our websites.